guys, this is going to be a try on haul video. I have a few accessories like handbags and things that obviously aren't going to be try on. I'm going to add in a few bits that I just show you that I've picked up, but all the clothing is going to be try on. So this first piece is from Shein. And before I forget, if you enjoy this haul video, if you want to see more fashion, beauty, style, haul video content from me, then please do thumbs up and subscribe and turn on the notification bell because almost every single day I have some type of fashion or beauty or lifestyle related content coming out. So you want to stay tuned to, to that and it would mean a lot to me and I will know to keep making this content for you guys. So first item that I'm wearing now, by the way, I'm wearing jeans with this because it's the easiest thing to pair with all the tops that I'm going to show you because it's mostly tops and then one dress and a couple of jackets. Uh, so this is a Shein top. It's Obviously a very, very casual piece. It's not like anything for going out. It's an, oh, it's quite, yeah, quite oversized, just like an oversized tie-dye t-shirt. Really, really comfy. It's a really soft material, actually, I'm surprised. Um, yeah, I guess Shein t-shirts are good quality. They feel really nice, very comfortable. And it is a size medium, because I wanted to go slightly oversized, slightly baggy. I didn't want a tight, or uncomfortable uh, t-shirt, especially coming up to summer, it's gonna get hotter. You want something loose, and I can pair this with a nice pair of leggings or something. And yeah, it also has a little logo here that says Los Angeles. And I thought the blue and purple tie-dye colors were really, really cute. Flattering for me, still really feminine, but still really casual and easy to wear. And I think this was around five or six pounds. So, and I had a couple discounts already applied um, to my purchases, because you know they offer so many sales and discounts and stuff on their website so it was probably a little lower than, than the original price but yeah around five six pounds love it really really comfy next piece is this little pullover i guess that's the american term i guess we'd call it a hoodie a jumper and yeah it has a zipper so you can do it up oh it's okay it's gotten a bit stuck i don't know why okay well oh no wait it hasn't gotten stuck i thought it was a full zipper it's not a full zipper it's like a half zipper and then here it sticks out but yeah if it gets a little chilly you can zip it up um but yeah i'd probably just wear it like this really casual it kind of looks like menswear but i love it uh it's a white slightly sheer hoodie because as you can see the t-shirt is under it and this was around 11 12 pounds on shein really inexpensive i would say for a hoodie it's very comfortable by the way and the sleeves are the right length for me i'm tall and yeah what else i mean i'm happy with it overall because if you go from any other brand, like a high street brand, you're going to be paying around 30, maybe even 40 pounds for this type of jumper. And yes, the material will probably be better quality, but the look and feel of it is going to be the exact same. So I think 11, 12 pounds for something like this, that's kind of like the equivalent of wearing a jacket in the evenings. It's perfect. I can wear it on our family walks to walk the dog. Um, just like a casual day out if I want to pop to the shops but I want to put a jumper over like a tank top or t-shirt or something, or even just like a sports bra, I can throw this on and head out. So even though it's a little bit sheer, I am still really happy with it. And it says, what does it say? Lagu is it, yeah, Laguna Beach, California. Um, I'm not sure, is it? Oh no, okay, the, the viewfinder on my camera is flipped around the other way. So I'm reading it literally, not back to front, but the way it should properly be written. So I was like, oh no, is the font written back to front? But it's definitely not. It's just my viewfinder flipped around. Anyway, as you can see, Laguna Beach, California. Uh, very cute, simple. I wanted a white one because A, it goes with everything and B, it's not like a crazy color or something that you wouldn't wear. This is something I'd probably reach for every day. And it's very, very comfy. It's got like a fleece material inside as well. So for chilly summer evenings when it's a little windy or if you're in Australia right now and it's, I think, your, it's coming up to your winter, this would be perfect. So it was around 11, 12 pounds, like I said, and I love it. So before I go change my tops, um, I am going to show you some of the accessories and things that I can't try on. So, or rather that I just can't be bothered to try on. First is a handbag. And yes, this is definitely like the fake... Not fake, but this is definitely inspired by the Dior handbags. It's very much that um, kind of thick canvas tote design, uh, square, rip, no, not square, rectangular shape. And it's got, I think Dior do that, the Christian Dior handbags that have the logo going across like this, they have a similar print to this. But it's just a simple black and white bag that I'm actually going to use as like airport hand luggage or trip luggage. 
This was literally, this is from AliExpress by the way, the jumper is Shein, if I didn't make that clear. Um, but this one, yeah, I got separately from AliExpress, but no doubt Shein sells something similar. And it was £10, around like between £9.50 and £10.50, but really, really inexpensive um, considering the size of the bag. I'd say it's a medium large bag. And I like that it holds its shape. It's, an, it's a little flimsy, it's not like the most structured bag, but I still think it works really well. And as you can see, there's a lot of space inside as well. It's got a zipper, so you can put your valuables in there. Although for if I'm traveling with hand luggage, or even just as normal, uh, you know, an airport handbag, I would wear a smaller crossbody with all my most valuable items and then have this just for safety, obviously, because the bag is open and it does come with a really useful strap. So you've got that as well. So I really, really love it. For the price, it was amazing. I was obsessed with the Christian Dior bags as soon as I saw them and this is like a perfect affordable dupe to them and they do come in a lot of different colours and designs so if you want to take a look on AliExpress they probably have loads to choose from. Just a couple more accessories to show you. First is a pair of sunglasses that I haven't even worn out. They arrived like almost two weeks ago and I've just been waiting to film this haul but they're really cute. I like them. They're a blue design if you can see blue i don't know if you guys can see outer rim here but yeah they're also like a really cute circular shape really really love them they were like three pounds again off aliexpress honestly i feel like they're probably a dupe for a designer brand and i do think they look lovely they quite suit my face as well sometimes it's a bit of a risk um you know not sure whether the sunglass shape will look good on you when you're buying online I found that most, I'm not bragging, but like, I found that most shapes do quite suit me. Um, some, maybe like really large circular ones, I don't like how they look, but generally they look all right. So I think for me buying sunglasses is quite a safe option. I know which styles I like and they don't look horrific on me. So that's a plus point. Um, these are ones I've already featured on my Instagram. So take a look if you're interested. I'll have more pictures of that coming out. Literally, I call this like the Neo Matrix pair because I've not even seen the Matrix, by the way. But uh, I imagine that these are the exact type of glasses he was wearing and the people were wearing. Maybe not him, but like someone in the Matrix film was wearing these. Um, I love it. I think they're cool. Something very different. And I'm not sure... Do they, I'm not sure if they suit me perfectly, but I really like them. It's kind of giving me Princess Diaries vibes, this outfit, but that guy, not the, not even Mia, the guy from Princess Diaries, the one from high school, the blonde guy, because he wore a pullover like this, and for some reason I just got flashbacks with those sunglasses. But these were also three pounds from AliExpress, and I was so surprised. Oh no, sorry, these were from Shein. But AliExpress sells ones just like this because I also got a case. I thought that was lovely, like what a nice addition. It's quite chic, very sleek. And then you've got even this cleaning um, things here. Whereas the other ones I think just came in plastic. So this is a nice little upgrade. So definitely consider Shein for some sunglasses if you don't want to spend a lot of money. And yes, they do say that they have UVA and UVB protection. So I'm gonna trust that they do. And when I wore them, uh, I had no issues with my eyes, like they were not getting sensitive to direct sunlight, so I do believe they actually have their sun protection. Okay, a little bit of sleepwear and nightwear products to show you, which I'm excited about because it's I'm just going I'm going into my like soft, what's it, soft life era, vanilla girl era, like you know, I'm just trying to live my best life here and be that TikTok girl. Um, and these are things I've always loved anyway. I'm not like changing up my style in any way. But the fact that I found them and just started doing a bit of research, I thought, you know what, why not? Life is short. And this is a, a it's kind of satin eye mask. Look at that. It says calm down. And it's I think it's very much inspired by um, Taylor Swift. Oh, and by the way, this dirt here is on the outside. Don't worry, it's not actually stained the... It's not actually stained the mask, but it says calm down. And I think Taylor Swift in her literal music video for calm down was wearing one like this. It is 100% polyester, but it's got that satin feel, which is what's most important to me. And on the back, there is like, um, you can see it's got one of those stretchy black bands. So it's kind of adjustable on the head. So I don't think it'll be too tight or too, oh, too tight or too loose on anyone. I think it will be just about the right fit. So hopefully that's really comfy. That was from AliExpress and I think it was 
I'm gonna say four pounds, three, four pounds. I don't remember the exact price, but I shop on AliExpress because it's very inexpensive. So don't worry, you definitely won't be breaking the bank But if you purchase any of these. Next are pajamas. So here I have the first pair, and this is why I just couldn't be bothered because there was there would be so much changing involved and putting on pajamas and everything. Um, but uh, I'm holding the bottoms here. This is the top. So you've got like a satiny, silky tank top here. It's a green and pink floral design. I think very, very pretty and perfect for filming my videos in. And I've always loved satin um, floral print pajamas. So yeah, not veering off too far from what I normally buy anyway, but I'm now in content creator mode and thinking, okay, what would look good? So next are these little um, bottoms to go with it. They're shorts. Um, I got a tank top and shorts set um, for all the pajamas I just purchased. These were approximately eight to 10 pounds. Really, really inexpensive. I definitely wouldn't have spent more than that and they were on offer, but AliExpress has offers going on all the time. So I'm sure you can find loads of different sellers with something very, very similar. Next, final set of pajamas, same thing. Oh, both of them are in a size large, by the way, just because I want to make sure they're comfortable, a little bit oversized and not too tight or too short. So this is the next set. It's a really, really cute uh, satin, blue and white striped with a bit of lace detailing tank top. This could technically, I could wear it out, honestly. I can wear this as normal clothing with jeans, high-waisted shorts or something. Um, honestly, no one would be able to tell. And I think, well, maybe this one a little bit, but um, I think it's really, really cute. And again, it was around eight to 10 pounds, size large for both. Um, they don't really have a label because they're not technically branded, but these are the shorts to go with it. Very, very cute. So next piece here is a, another Shein top. I saw this on offer. It was on sale on the website. I think I was looking for something similar to this, or at least in this kind of material and color. And I was like, you know what? That looks like something I would definitely wear. So I had to pick it up and it's got a really, really cute bow tie detail here. So it's very much again in that soft life, I don't know what vibe I'm going for, but you know what I'm trying to say. I don't know the correct term at, at, right off the top of my head right now, but yeah, kind of like just that really fun feminine era that I'm going for, for with my style. So I love the side tie detail, anything with a bow and satin, I'm sold. So yeah, it's a very, very cute kind of Grecian, Greek goddess style flowy top in a really beautiful deep blue. And I don't have anything like this, you know, nothing in this color, this specific style and material. So that was my justification. And I think it's perfect for this season. Very, very easy to dress up or down. I could honestly, as I'm in jeans, put on trainers and that's a good outfit done for the daytime, sunglasses and a little small handbag, or, you know, for the evening, dress it up because it is a little bit more fancy and nice. And yeah, this is what it looks like. And like I said, I saw it on sale and I think it was about nine or 10 pounds. Definitely nowhere near 15. Um, I don't think I would have spent that much. Maybe, you know, 10 or 11, but honestly, it was very, very cheap. Between eight and 11, let's say. But yeah, it was on offer, and I still think that's very inexpensive because I think even Primark would charge about 12 pounds for this top at least. So you're really getting like the cheapest possible option for an outfit that honestly you can get from any high street brand that does this style. So really, really love it very cute and feminine. Now I'm gonna show you two jackets that I bought. So I'm not styling it 100% like this. I don't think it, it's the most amazing look right now, but you know what? It's the kind of jacket you can throw on over anything. Now, the only thing is I need, I'll need to shrink a little bit because it's a tiny bit short on the arms, but because it is a cropped jacket, I do think I can get away with it. It doesn't look bad. It still looks okay. It's a tiny bit short, but with some bangles or bracelets, issue fixed. I don't think you guys would have even, you know, commented on something like that um, if I hadn't pointed out just now. So yeah, I still love how it looks and I'm quite fussy. So if something doesn't look good, I'm immediately put off and frustrated and like, oh, this isn't going to work. So the fact that I tried this on in the shop and I'll tell you in a moment what it is. Um, and I instantly loved how it looked. I was like, okay, probably going to get a lot of wear out of this. I say I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this, but I'm gonna wear it more sparingly for potentially more special occasions just because it is a vintage Paul Costello jacket. 
and I picked it up in a charity shop. It's called Mary's Living Giving Shop and I think they do, I don't know if it's just a London um, charity but they have quite a few around London and I came across one and I thought, you know what, this would be perfect. It was £65 for a vintage jacket so I do think that is a really good price. So I don't know much about Paul Costello but I do believe he is like um, a like a well-known British designer, I think. I don't know. Either way, he was a designer and I think he was mainly like big in the 80s, maybe 70s, 80s, 90s, something like that, especially because it's vintage now. And yeah, I don't really hear much about him. So I have heard of him and I thought, you know what? It's well-made, it's vintage. It's technically like a vintage designer piece, 65 pounds. I think that is an amazing investment piece for something that I actually love and will actually get good wear out of. So it's a, it's a size 12, and unfortunately, obviously, you can't really find this jacket, but you can find something similar, or if you're interested in the brand or the charity shops, now you know that they stock amazing things. So this is what it looks like. I did say it's a little bit cropped, and I think that's the style they were going for, but because it's more of like a angular structured design with, um, you know, these buttons going down, and it's more of like a, it's kind of like a structured blazer, which I like. Um, I do think it looks really trendy now, still very, very like up to date, modern. Um, yeah, and you, I, it does actually button up and it does fit me buttoned up because I think a UK 12 in the past is our version of a UK 8 or 10 now. It's okay, I'm, I'm glad I found it, you know, for a charity shop find, for, for, you know, a luxury charity shop find, I think this is pretty amazing. So I'm really glad I found this. And then I have one more cardigan to try on. So forgive the mismatch here. I don't think obviously the cardigan goes with this top, but I already had the top on. I'm just gonna show you guys. The colors do look lovely together, I think. So it is a size small LK Bennett cardigan. It is tight um, because obviously it's a small and the material is like, I don't know what this material even is. Is it going to say on? Okay. It might say here what material it is. Viscose, yeah, I was gonna say viscose, but I wasn't quite sure what that was. Um, so it does feel like that thicker viscose material, so it's tight, it's comfortable, but it is tight, so keep that in mind. It's an LK Bennett size small, and I actually picked this up in a charity shop as well. It's from Farah, I believe, and they do have slightly more high-end luxury pieces, so if you're looking for something more special to spend a little bit more money than usual, that's a really good place to go. But this was actually on sale. For some reason, they discounted it like half price down to about 12 pounds. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't know why I just said that when I, okay, stop mid sentence there. But it is a lovely, deep, orangey red. I don't even know what like shade you would actually call this, but it's a bright orange red. So perfect for summer. Um, if I had a nice white dress, I don't know, a nice crop top maybe and high-waisted trousers, this would be lovely to throw over the top, add a really lovely pop of color. And the color stood out to me and I saw the material and I thought, you know what, that looks expensive. That looks like something high quality and it definitely is. And I've never had anything from LK Bennett. So I'm kind of feeling like Hamilton right now, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I really love it. The only thing is, you know, I would prefer probably a size medium just to give a little more leeway in the arms because for a small, it does really really kind of cinch in and kind of suck everything in so it does feel quite tight but it's not uncomfortable like I said and the color is like nothing else I own so I absolutely love it and the price was incredible so do go check out those charity shops if you're in London or the UK hopefully it's based in different locations around the UK as well but yeah these are all from London or online Shein and AliExpress so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul I think it was a pretty long one because I had to re like keep press not redo but like keep pressing um the record button like five times because the clips were so long i do hope you enjoy this video do thumbs up and subscribe turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed and i can definitely keep doing more style videos haul videos try on hauls anything like that so let me know and like the video if you enjoyed and i'll see you next time